Greetings. Welcome back. This is Balaskib with an episode of Let's Play Diablo 2. I'm joined as always by my paladin and Al Hazir. We're back in the Karas docks uh, because, well, this was going to be the fastest way to get to the Flare Dungeon. Flare. Flare Jungle? Something like that. But when I. When I when I came here, I found out Hratli had something that he wanted to say to me. So what's up, Hratli? As I told you before, I placed an enchantment upon the dark side in order to keep the demons at bay. But lately, the enchantment seems to be weakening. If memory serves me correctly, there is a holy Skatsimi blade that could revitalize the enchantment. The blade is called the Gidbin. Find it, and our sanctuary here will remain safe. So we need to find a gid bin. D well, d I think he said destroy it. I need to repair that. I, I definitely need to do. Anything good here? I don't think so. What is this? 93 with cold resist plus 6? I don't think that's better than what Al Hazir has got, but I'll take a look. That's pretty good for him, too. 23 to 51, but slow, but life stolen's always nice. What are you on? 133, that's right, I give him that awesome thing. Uh, so, no. Um, now I'm gonna hold on to, to, to his pylon for a little bit. Look for the Gidbin in the Flare Jungle. In the Flare Dungeon in the Flare Jungle. Uh, so, I need to... Let's see, what, which way was it that I was trying to go to? Ah, yes, from the spider forest. That was the way that I wanted to go. Uh, do need to, to re-kick all these baskets, open up all these cocoons. Uh, but we need to head back to uh, the flare jungle, which is up that way, if I remember correctly. Because I remembered... I remembered something between sessions. That's, that's a marked improvement. Uh, that this was actually the fastest way to the, uh, the flare jungle where we will encounter flares. Oh, there was a special in there? <laughs> Didn't even notice. He died too damn fast. Alright, so let's grab that and we can head into the flare jungle where there are instantly just a whole set of flares. Okay. Oh man, I need to heal? Damn you. How dare you make me heal. Let's move up here so just a little bit so I can actually kill these guys. You, you go ahead and deal with the rest of them. I'm doing good. I'm doing pretty good. Just looting over here. So we are in search of uh, both the... Both the Gidbin and the, uh, the Flare Dungeon. And uh, usually those are pretty close to each other. I mean, they're very nice about... Th Ooh, Flail. Take a look at that. Usually they're very close to each other. They're very nice about it that way. Kick the basket. Nothing inside. What's the point? Okay, I killed one of them. I believe they can form one of those uh, one of those uh, things, uh, shamans. Uh, that they they don't spawn that way. The two of them get together and form one. But it's been a while since I've seen it, so I'm not sure sure about many things apparently but I do know that this falcon mask is gonna be worth it maybe <laughs> apparently I'm not so sure about it anymore will you not run away from the blow dart guys seriously the dark guns blow darts I don't it's not a dark gun is it dark guns are like physical guns light player boots do not care uh, the, the shamans, though, when you kill them, the, the guy underneath them, right, the shamans technically are like two flares are staying on top of each other. Uh, the one on underneath, he, there's this little pause before he becomes like his own, um, his own enemy that you can fight. So there's this, like, awkward delay. Especially if, uh, your, your mercenary is the one that's killing him. Between him killing the first guy and him taking on the second guy, he's just like, there's nobody there. Oh, I guess there is. Damn it, reading nightmare. Get out of my face. So we need to continue going this way. Unless it's a dead end. Then we need to go back this way. 
Uh, let's explore down here just real fast. Make sure there's nothing else here. No. no. So, we need to find this, uh, this other entrance that leads us away from the river. And hopefully gives us both the Gidbin and the Flayer Dungeon. You, like I said, usually they're very close together. They're not always there. You know, everything in this game is so incredibly random. Shuffle around and did not hit the shaman. You know, a little delay. See, he walked away from the other guy. I'm already overburdened? Are you kidding me? I can't handle a smoked sphere? I'm sure I... It's ethereal anyway! Don't care. Do not want. Do not gusta. I'll, I'll take that, though. Why not? Who else is using it? Nobody? That's what I thought. Damn it, you moved on me! Now hit him. Okay. Yeah, you can't just keep uh, keep swinging at that guy, which which I'm not a fan of. The, you know that small little delay, just enough for your mercenary and you to think, oh, I'm done here. Oh, now there's another guy. Uh, chain gloves. Do not care. I did miss gold, didn't I? I was like, did I miss gold? How dare I miss gold? How did that guy die? I don't understand how that guy died. I really don't. Thawing potion. Uh, I mean, you could use it if you really wanted to. 200 gold. Jeez. Everything just wants to fly away. Nothing wants to fight me. Go around and kill things. Go around again and hit him. Now he moved. Tell me, winged nightmare. Why don't you stay in place? <laughs> when my blessed henna swings around to kill you. Alright. Now, we need to head back this side. Uh, let's just make sure... Oh yeah, resist lightning. Thank you. All of a sudden, in Act 3, I'm finding all these resist lightning shrines. But when I'm up against beetles... No, 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 no. That never happens. Uh, there are technically beetles here in... Um, in Act 3. I know I said you wouldn't be seeing them again. But they make one small appearance again. But it's not big enough for you to, to, to be concerned about it at all. So, it, it, you know, if you don't have any lightning defense, you know, don't be too worried about it. Just be cautious that there is going to be a part with them in it. But I wouldn't, you know, try to go out of your way to get lightning resistance anymore. Uh, fire, cold, poison, those will all show up. Um, cold, it'll probably be a while before before we have to really start thinking about that. I would focus more on fire and poison uh, for now. But, you know, freeze duration and all that kind of stuff. Always useful uh, for when you find a special. And get a level up. Like I just did. Oh, yellow bone wand. I can't carry him. Can't carry the yellow bone wand. Wait, yes I can. Um, let's like move some stuff around so I get at least a little bit more room here. Okay. Oh, come on! You've got to be kidding me! I I run right up to them and then they fly off. The hell is your guys' What the hell is your problem? Why don't you die? Another bone wand. God, I'm getting so many necromancers drops. That's ridiculous. Okay. How is it? Skeletal mage. Not bad. Uh, I, I don't see very many people running around with skeletal mages out, but still. Nice to have. Uh, yeah, I can still put one there, one there. Most of it needs to stay in vitality, which has hit a hundred. No, more in co concentration, please. I need as much damage from everybody as I can. That is the aura that I'll be sticking with pretty much. Well, un definitely until the end of uh, this this run through of the game. See, look, he walked away. Oh, freaking Al Hazir doesn't want to doesn't want to kill things. <sighs> Let's just keep going. Morning Star. Why do I want a Morning Star? Okay, we need to keep going through here. We find. Usually, through these things, we find like a dungeon or something. Step away from the poison! And. Really, I can't click on that guy. Why can't I click on that guy? And here we find the waypoint to the Flare Dungeon. The Flare Jungle. Sorry, we haven't gotten to the Flare Dungeon. The Flare Dungeon's what we're looking for. 
um, but I haven't found it yet. Now the gate bin, it, it'll show up on uh, on your map as like a, one of those special places. Um, I doubt it's going to be here. I think there's a chance that it could be here, but this is usually, yeah, the Swampy Pit. Uh, which we'll take on after I go through the waypoint, actually. Stop firing poison at me! Because I am almost full, so might as well use this opportunity to go back to town real fast. Greetings. And sell off. That was crap. That was pretty good. Eh. But yeah, those... Those bone wands are going to be what, what gives me most of my stuff. That's not that great at all. This is awesome, and that should sell for max, which is uh, 15,000, I believe. Yeah, that one sucked. There we go. That's pretty good. Fa faster attack speed. Not too bad. Not too great. Yeah, 15,000. There we go. If I so desired, I could hold on to that until I got to the next act. I've brought that up before, but, you know, it's always a possibility. Uh, I just don't like holding on to stuff. I'm not that concerned about money that I need to hold off from, from buying stuff for now. Uh, but if uh, if you want to, you, you know, feel free to do that. Uh, didn't pick up anything particularly good. have too many keys, though. have too many keys. Didn't have anything I could put in there. Uh, still looking for... I forget which one I'm looking for. I don't think I have the runes for, yes. for any rune ward stuff anymore. Uh, do you have anything good? No. Okay. Wait, what is this? You know, once again, that leech stuff is, is good, but I'm willing to hold it off for now. Uh, picked up... Why did I pick up the antidote potion again? Don't I have prayer and all that? Whatever. Okay. Uh, couldn't, uh, couldn't hurt to keep one on hand, but I don't think that I need an antidote potion, but now that we're going into the swampy pit, there's going to be a ton of things in here. Usually there are a ton of things in here that, that can cast poison on you because it's a pit. Usually those kinds of things have poison anytime you go into something like this. Apparently we have undead soul killers. These are new looking things. They look like dead flares, like undead flares. Uh, what is going on over here? We have Gloams. These are new. They cast Lightning. I do not remember ever fighting these guys here. I did not think we had to fight anything that really had focused on on Lightning. So I apologize, but uh, really, this is, this is new to me. Uh, but if you get close enough, it, it's not too concerning. They, they cast it from time to time, but it's not like their focal attack or, or a counter to, to, to you hitting them. So I still wouldn't be too worried about lightning. These guys also cast lightning. I mean, there are still enemies that, that do lightning, but it's not something nearly as bad as, as those beetles, which were just ridiculous amount of lightning damage to you. Like, you literally could not defeat them without taking massive amounts of lightning damage. Are you still killing things? Good job. Nicely done. Uh, looks like these all go for a way, so let's go back this way, and then we can head uh, down here. This place shouldn't be too big. I'm not a fan of these gloves. They do drain the mana. If you could get over here and fight, that'd be greatly appreciated. I mean, look, I'm like taking no damage from lightning at all. Of course, I do have a high lightning resistance. Uh, what is my lightning resistance? No, I don't have a light, high lightning resistance. I gave that to Al Hazir now. I only have 15 lightning resistance. Like I said, I wouldn't be too concerned about lightning from now on. But this guy, this guy I would be concerned about. This is the Water Watcher. Just like Lord of the Rings. Just like Lord of the Rings. Uh, he casts poison on you. He, anytime you come across uh, a little patch of water like that, expect a Watcher of some kind. Um, take out the middle one. And the, and the tentacles will fall. Take out the head and everything else goes away. Yes. Take out the head and destroy the brain. Uh, ooh, heavy boots. Heavy boots. That's, uh, that's actually, yeah. Because I don't have crap. Fire resist plus five has freeze duration with higher defense. That is better than what I had because mine sucked. Man, did my boots suck. Finally able to get rid of that. I'm very happy about that. Just nobody was dropping boots. You know, 
you'll occasionally find that, that you start looking at your equipment and you're like, why don't I have something better here? Oh, nobody's been dropping it. Nobody's been really selling anything good. Maybe I could have found something better in town, maybe. Uh, but, you know, the chances of that are pretty pretty slim. They don't usually sell all that great of stuff in town. You know, you got standard RPG logic here. Go out and kill stuff. They will give you better stuff than what you can get in town. All right, so there is a second level to the Swampy Pit. I do not remember there being a second level to this. Uh, but this is an optional dungeon, so it shouldn't be too big. Uh, this is not required by any quest whatsoever. So we shouldn't have too much problem. We do have new drowned car- oh, these are drowned carcasses. Uh, we have Pulse Tongue Quick, who's not quick enough to- he is quick enough to dodge my blessing half the world. That didn't have anything to do with him quick, but he was able to do it regardless. And yeah, these guys hit with cold, that's why I said- don't, don't focus on, uh, on lightning. Even cold- I wouldn't focus too much on. Sure, these guys have it, but it's again not a big concern. They hardly ever freeze you. Um, yeah, fire's the main one that you want to focus on. Even though I haven't found much of any fire guys outside the shamans uh, since I since I booed this back up. But trust me, they will come. They will come. Fire is by far the favorite element of Blizzard in in Diablo games, as far as I can tell, for their enemies. Just, oh man, do they love to spam fire all over the damn place. Right, let's go this way. We should be finding a glowy... Really? There's a third level? I can see the stairs on my mini-map, so... I'm going to avoid that way, but seriously, three levels? This is optional, man. It's a swampy pit. This isn't supposed to be a three-level dungeon. I'm, uh, I'm surprised that was a second level. Ah, uh, blessed hammer. Just <laughs> wiped everything out. All right, we need to go up here. Just, eh. And I hit the wall on it. I don't know what happened to my best friend there. I swear I cast one. 183 gold. Nice. So yeah, another patch of water. I am. In, ooh. I am overburdened. How many? How many spots? That's all I really care about. Two socketed body armor. Um. I, yeah, yeah, no, I already had that. Okay. And my, my Tal Earth breath plate, press, breast plate is going to carry me for quite some time. I forgot that that was the one that I got. Yeah, another one over here, as expected. These guys will poison you all the damn time. Yeah, I have resist poison on, and I have an awesome poison resist stat already. One shot at him? Really? Okay, I'll take it. I'm not going to complain too much. But I did not expect that. There's a little more over here. Nice, it just circles around. I doubt there's a way forward. For me. Oh, man. Anything, anything good? Nothing, nothing spectacular. Okay. Ah! Now you rise when I go over here. Yes, go over here so I can reach your face. Down he goes. I think we have encountered water watchers before, but they, yeah, they, they definitely show up in all these type of dungeons. So if you show up in like these sewer type places, just expect them. So we're here in the third level, which I did not expect this place to have. Where's my glowy chest? Better have something good at the end of this place. Better have something damn good. I'm expecting at least a gold in this treasure chest. Being that I had to go through three levels to get it, and I uh, can open up the caskets. <laughs> Why would people put a healing potion in a casket? What? Whatever. Should have been questioning that a long time ago. It's way too late for me to be questioning why. Why people give like stamina potions to the dead people? I don't know what you guys imagine happens after you die, but pretty sure you don't get to take what's in your casket with you. <laughs> I know, maybe I'm not, uh, you know, I try to stay away from hot topics like religion, but seriously, if your religion says you get to take all your stuff with you, maybe look for a different one. That's all I'm saying. Uh, like, I don't know. Take stuff in the ca casket with you? That's ridiculous. Oh, this place. I hate this place. This is amazing. I forgot that, about this. Uh, apparently, I had no recollection of the swampy, the swampy bit. 
Uh, because, well, it just reminds me of, you know, like a guy that works out, you know, he has a swampy pit. I'm not even going to say which pit it is either, but definitely has one. God, this place is huge, and I hate trying to get around this place, and I'm probably going to miss a couple of places here, but I'm going to try to explore this every nook and cranny. But I do know that there is a glowy chest at the end of this one. Where the hell is Alhazir? It's no fun if, it, if I have to two-shot these guys. Die. There you go. What did he drop? Looks like some kind of fancy helm. Horned helm. Uh, I think that is just a regular... Um, a regular helm, not the... Not the barbarian one. What was it? It is... No, it's a barbarian one, and it's pretty damn awesome, actually. So I will sell that. Nothing here, really? Just the shaman? Fine. Now let's go through to the other side over here. After we take out this water washer. Oh, I hit the tentacle? No, I hit him. No, Al-Hazir hit him. Damn you, water washer. Why do you have three parts? Ah, God. Nope. Oh. Yes. Nicely done. Giant sword. Have we seen a giant sword before? Let's at least show off what it looks like. It's pretty much a bastard sword. But it is giant. I think th they sell that in town now. Yeah, that can be dropped as well. Huh? Apparently I don't need any uh, town portals. Thought I might. Uh, we can actually go up here. Nice. We don't have to do everything through the middle. And hopefully this will lead us to... Nope, this just leads us around. Oh, come on. You better give me a damn chest. You better give me a damn chest. Hatchet hands, crossbow. All useless. D don't, didn't want you to really grab it either. Yeah, this, this is apparently the only way over here. There's my chest. I said, at least one gold. Give me at least one gold. That's all I'm asking. I know I can't pick up that scythe right now, but give me a gold. Give me a gold. Ah, oh, give me three blues. I guess. I guess that'll cover it. But seriously, I was expecting for more. All right. Uh, do I have anything in the cube? I don't. Um. Actually, let's do that. Make a little room for the scythe. And then we can pick up at least the Chris. And then Spike Club. No. Okay. Back to town it is. So, yeah, still pretty disappointing when you go through like three levels like that and you can't find anything good. Uh, no, see, I mean, that's not good for, for either one of us, really. Uh, not really. Okay. That is no good. Okay, fine. I mean, it sells pretty good, but not as good as what oh, his ear has. So, let's get rid of all this stuff. We can sell that. That should probably sell for max. I would hope that it does, but it's barbarian only, so I doubt it. Actually, no. 2,000. Yeah, these were crap compared to these. Do I have half freeze duration somewhere else? Oh, that's right, I have that. See, you know, I've been I, I've been taking a too long of a break apparently from my from this let's play. Uh, I think I've gone like five days, but I've been doing a lot of uh, multiplayer stuff, so I've forgotten Good everything day. that I had <laughs> on this character. I will remember everything eventually, <laughs> possibly. Uh, it's oh, nice! We can make our first flawless. Let's do that right now, actually, because, uh, well, we haven't seen a flawless before. Move this all up there. All right, three flods. What am I doing? Three flods make another regular emerald, which we can then put three of in here to make my first flawless emerald. 60 poison damage over six seconds, plus eight to dexterity. Poison resist, plus 28. No, it is still not going in here, even though I would love to get poison damage in there. But no, I'm still going to hold off on that until I get to perfect. That's that's my goal. What do I have? I have Elds, an Ith, two Tals, Tears, and Eths. Uh, no, okay, that's those are Elds, Eth. Okay. I see what I got now. 
Alright, let's head back through the portal then. Pick up the skull cap, chainmail, spike club. Now, we can try to finish exploring this place. Like I said, I don't know where I've been. <laughs> it's hard to tell. Oh, man. But... This place. I hate tr going through this place. And then the reward wasn't even good, really. I mean, I, I'm going to end up selling all of it. There's nothing there that I'm going to be keeping. I know it. Uh, have I... See, this is just a dead end. So then we go this way, which just leads back out. And then this leads to nothing. Okay. So, can I get out? How do I get out of here? Yes, I can go this way to get out of here. I have to map out like it's a maze, because it is a damn maze. This will lead me out. And then we can continue on in search of the Flayer Dungeon. Am I actually going to run out of stamina? I am. Right there. Alright, stand still for a second. Okay, we're good. Damn it. No, uh, screw this. I'm, I'm, I'm doing the cheap, the cheap way out then. Fine. Greetings. Even though it cost me a scroll.